This video continues with the theme of the last two videos and here we will be looking at another law of indices. When raising the power of a value to a power, multiply the indices. Consider this, you can see that A is being raised to the power M. So A is the base and M is the index, sometimes called the exponent. Now I'm going to put this in brackets. Now I'm going to raise the content of the brackets to a power and you can see that's the power of N. Now for this what we do, we multiply together the indices as shown here. So if you have a number raised to a power that you then then raise to another power then you can see here that you multiply the indices here we can see the law expressed so let's now look at this with respect to a more concrete example as you can see here here we can see the base has been raised to the index of 3 and this is then raised to the power of 2 or the index of 2 or the exponent is Two. And what we can see here is we multiply together the indices and that will give us a to the 6 because 3 times 2 is clearly 6. I'm going to rewrite this below by expanding the contents of the brackets as you can see here. I have three lots of a's all multiplied together and outside the bracket you can see I have the 2 indicating that the contents of the brackets are squared. Now this 2 is telling us we have two lots of the brackets multiplied together. Well here you can see there is one lot of the brackets, here is another lot, and of course we multiply them together as you can see by that bouncing multiplication sign. If you now consider all of this, you can see that there are six a's that are all effectively being multiplied together, so this can be made equal to a to the 6. And of course this a to the 6 is a repeat of what we saw here, so it is valid for us to multiply the indices together as shown here. Let's now look at another concrete example where we choose a value for the base a. This is the concrete example. You can see the base is 2 which is being raised to the power of 4 and all of this is being raised to the power of 3 and if you look here I am multiplying the indices together as you would expect from the law that's showing up here and of course this will now equal 2 to the 12 because 4 times 3 gives us 12 and when you put this into a calculator you will see that the result is shown here. Let's now consider the following Python program. You can see here A is assigned 2 to reflect the base of the number shown here, M is assigned 4 to reflect this index and n is assigned 3 to reflect this index. On this slide I am multiplying together the m and the n to reflect this multiplication which gives us this value of 12. This line will print the value of this calculation. This a raised to the power m will reflect this 2 raised to the power 4 and of course we then can see that this is in brackets we then raise the brackets to the power of 3 which reflects this bit this line will print this calculations result and if you look at this you can see we have a raised to the power of this where we've multiplied together the m by the n and this calculation reflects what you're looking at here. This last line of the program will print the result of this calculation, which you can see is the base, which is 2 in the example above, raised to the power of p, where p is shown here as being the multiplication of m times n, which clearly gives 12. So what this is reflecting is this 2 to the 12 here. Let's now consider the runtime for this computer program as shown here. And all of these three print statements you can see give us a result of 4096 in each case, which reflects the value we were expecting to see as shown here. So let's consider the key points taken from the previous two videos in the playlist and the video that you're looking at now. When we consider 
a raised to the power 0 we get 1 and we looked at examples of 2 to the 0, 16 to the 0 in previous videos and they all give the value of 1. We also have this a raised to the power of 1 gives us a. In other words any base raised to the power of 1 gives us that base so if it was 2 to the 1 we'd have 2 if it was 16 to the 1 we'd have 16 if it was 10 to the 1 we'd have 10 we also considered this law when you multiply together numbers that are raised to a power where the base is the same then you add the indices we also considered the law shown here where we're doing a division and when we divide as shown here we know that when we look to the indices we have to subtract them as you can see here now this video has introduced another law of indices as shown here if you have a number raised to an index and you then raise that number to another index then what you can do is write down the base and as shown here multiply the indices now the law of indices as represented on this slide are important for mathematics in general. Now the reason I've gone over these is for review because if you're going to look at complex numbers a firm understanding of the law of indices is important. Now the next video in the playlist is going to have a look at indices as they apply to roots and in particular we're going to be looking at how we have the indices representing the square root of a number. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video.